In this video, we show that if the components of the co-unit are regular epimorphisms, then it is a canonical co-equalizer. Recall that the following is a co-equalizer diagram, if and only if pre-composition by an epimorphism of this diagram is also a co-equalizer diagram. In other words, the co-equalizer of FG is equal to the co-equalizer of FE, GE, for each compatible epimorphism, E. The result we prove is, let FG be in a joint situation. For each A object A, we have epsilon A is a regular epimorphism if and only if epsilon A is a co-equalizer of epsilon FGA, FG epsilon A. The reverse direction is trivial by definition of a regular epimorphism. In the forward direction, we need to verify the universal mapping property of epsilon A as a co-equalizer of epsilon FGA and FG epsilon A. So we consider a morphism T such that T epsilon FGA is equal to T FG epsilon A. Since epsilon A is a regular epimorphism, it is the co-equalizer of some morphisms F and G, and then by the observation above, epsilon A is also the co-equalizer of F epsilon C and G epsilon C, since epsilon C is an epimorphism by assumption. Then we have T G epsilon C is equal to T epsilon F G A F G G by naturality of epsilon. And this is equal to T F G epsilon A F G G by assumption on the morphism T above. And we see this is equal to T F G epsilon A F G F, since epsilon A is a co-equalizer of F and G but F G epsilon A F G F is equal to F epsilon C, so we obtain T F epsilon C. Therefore, by the universal mapping property of epsilon C as a co-equalizer of F epsilon C G epsilon C, there is a unique factorization H such that H epsilon A is equal to T. And therefore, we see that epsilon A is equal to the co-equalizer of epsilon F G A F G epsilon A, which is what we wanted to show.